Hi friends! Today I'm going to be joining Hannah in searching Google feminist queries and answering those profound questions to the best of my ability. Do feminists get married? Yes, yes, feminists get married. My mom's a feminist, she's married, and I know plenty other feminists who are married, but there also are feminists who aren't married. I don't think that feminism and being a feminist has any sort of specific qualifier on whether or not you decide to be married to someone. I think it's up to their own personal choice, just like people who aren't feminists. This one is actually really interesting. It says, do feminists need Marxism? I'm not sure. There is a lot of interesting like feminist Marxist dialectic that is good and it talks about um, class struggle and how class affects women and I think that it's really important to look at how the different like strata and, and classes and working class women, um, how capitalism affects women and their positions in society. There is a feminization of poverty and so women often occupy more lower paying jobs or more what is called precarious work, so part-time labor or um, not full-time general, like n normal nine-to-five kind of work, and more work that is a little bit more volatile. So yes, I think that Marxism is really valuable for feminism and the way that we look at different kinds of oppression. Um, I'm not sure if feminists need Marxism. I don't need no man, but no, like Marx was rad, so uh, looking at some of those theories and those questions is actually really important, I think. <laughs> So I asked, I asked uh, are FEM, I got, are female cats friendlier than male cats? I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to find out. Um, but another one that came along with that is, are feminists sexist? And I think that's a really interesting question because a lot of the time people are like, oh, well, feminism is like the advancement of women above the status of men and feminists just want to be better than men. And I think that that's not the case. Feminism is for the equality of men and women and for men and women to share the same privileges. And so I don't think that feminists are sexist and the point of feminism is to fight against oppression of women. I put in should FEM and I got should feminism be capitalized? I don't think that there's a need. Um, if it's at the beginning of a sentence though, please capitalize it because that's just, that's just proper grammar. But if it's in the middle of a sentence or you're referring to a feminist or talking about feminist theory, then I'm pretty sure it's okay to leave it a regular old lowercase. Like Hannah, I also put in why do F-E-M-I, why do feminists hate men? Already answered that one. We don't. Um, why do feminists hate men so much? I, we don't. Again, sorry. Um, why do feminists have a bad reputation? And I think this is really interesting. Women who are feminists often get put into like the straw feminist trope, which is kind of like this like extreme idea of feminists, of the feminists that like want to blow up the world because men are evil and want to chop everyone's penis off. That's the sort of like exaggeration of what feminism is and that's sort of like the perception that a lot of people have of feminism. It's like almost sort of humorous. I want to share um, Straw Feminists in the Closet by Harko Vagrant because it's like my favorite comic ever um, because it's hilarious because real feminists aren't actually you know that extreme we're just fighting for equality and so I think that feminists do have a bad reputation because some sort of extreme and like caricature kind of like images or ideas of feminism have been skewed like the the bra burning and the not shaving the, of the legs and everything like that which leads into the next question um why do feminists not shave well i'm a feminist and i shave usually. And I think that a lot of that has to do with gender roles and gender expectations. And so I think a lot of feminists who don't shave are of the mind that, well, if, if men don't have to shave, then why are, is their body hair seen as okay, but mine has to be something that is removed or that's dirty or that's ugly. And so feminists who don't shave are kind of like taking a stand and saying, well, it's okay. Like there's nothing wrong with my body hair. And if there's nothing wrong with a man's body hair, then then why is there something wrong with mine? It's a, it's a very specifically cultural thing. And so I think that um, some feminists see it as like a way to express themselves in a way that says like I don't need to abide by normal gender stereotypes and I can do my own thing. And I think that that's all of the exciting feminist questions that I have time for today. I hope that you enjoyed that. It was fun! I'm not nearly as funny as Hannah so I apologize for not being super humorous and just answering questions very seriously. But I'm just, I'm just not a funny human being so we're just gonna just gonna have to leave it at that. Have a good weekend, friends, and I will see you on Tuesday, Hannah. Bye!